by call the order of the Public Safety Commission of the City of Northampton. Any member of the public want to issue a comment? Seeing none, moving on to the chair report. Seeing none, moving on to the tree warden report. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, let's go with the minutes, actually. Sorry, I skipped over the minutes. Yes. We have the minutes from May 3rd. Okay. Jump in with a motion whenever you're ready. I make a motion to approve the May 5th, 2017 uh, minutes from the Public Shade Tree Commission meeting held that day. I second. Any further discussion, thoughts? All in favor? Opposed? Extensions? One. So I wasn't here. Jeff? Oh, I wasn't here either. So I thought this was the last one. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Now we move on to the tree warden report. We will come back to the minutes because they will inform uh, our later discussion around the priorities. Uh, let's see, we've got a couple things to go over. So, uh, 83 Grove Avenue, uh, we came to a final agreement with, uh, this is in regards to a public safety hearing that was held in April uh, for uh, the equivalent of 88.5 inches of uh, public shade trees that were here removed. Uh, I did come to an agreement with the uh, owner of the property who was doing the removals with the uh, mitigation plan that he put together. It's actually used a lot of the trees that uh, we have recommended in our I guess you could call it a draft, a draft of this. But I, let, I sent it to him and he used a lot, of, a lot of tree species that were there on public property and setback properties as well. So that is pretty much a done deal. I'm just waiting to go back there uh, to inspect their tree protection that we're going to have for the remaining public shade trees that are there. So let's go back on Friday. And once that's done, I'll sign a draft and uh, start construction. City property and his own property. Um, we may have a potential public shade tree hearing, but I have one from a resident at uh, 215 Elm Street. Uh, it's the corner of Elm and corner of Elm and Franklin. There's a public shade tree there that the resident would like to have removed. That's uh, a Norway maple. It's in fairly good health. It's got its uh, her house service is actually rubbing up against the side of the tree. So uh, I'm in the process of trying to work with the uh, National Grid the line Department to see if they'll actually move the house around farther away so we don't have to remove the tree. Uh, but she still would like the tree removed because it's pushing the leaves up on her patio and sits on the inside of her uh, property. So I'm going to still work with her on that. Say it's a, it's a Norway maple? Yep. Does that give us an opportunity to plant four good? Not there. No? no? There's nothing to plant there. Those were, those are volunteers. Uh, 
Uh, you know where Louise Jeffway lives on the corner of Franklin? They have a very large house on the corner of Franklin. And if, you go, if you go down Franklin Street, there's a sidewalk on the left hand side that you basically cross the street. Yeah. And then there is her property. And there is a little cutout that was made for these three trees that were there. And they have this huge fence that went around them. So she wants to cut down the remaining trees. And I'm trying to say to her, no, we prefer not to just go the natural process. And um, they're healthy, so I don't know how much longer they'll live. I mean, they're not going to die anytime soon, so I can't say you can cut down. They're invasive. They are invasive, but I, the, my, my issue is, is that we're going to, you know, that end of Franklin Street will have no shade. <coughs> have nothing that's directly underneath the sidewalk. You know, she has trees on her property, but she doesn't want any more trees planted on her property. And right there on Franklin, they're not likely to be invasive into some natural area. No, they're not far from you. No, they're not far from you. So, I haven't heard back from her, so that's kind of on hold. Um, we took delivery of the remaining trees from uh, last year's bid with uh, Amherst Nursery, so we have everything except Robin. There's a few trees that you said were missing, but Rob's going to go back and recount. Well, I misstated it. So all the trees that they were, I believe, all the trees that they were supposed to bring over, I saw over there. But in terms of planting South Street, there's a handful of trees that we haven't ordered to join out. Okay, now I, now I, that's We knew clear. that, though. Yes, we knew that, exactly. exactly. I was bringing it up in relation to Rich okay. deciding where to start, because we will, if we start at the beginning, we will run out of uh, <coughs> Winter King. Although we have enough apple trees to go to hold so. um, We're gearing up for the planting this weekend, so we'll be moving trees the next couple of days, getting fine mulch, uh, getting our compost ready, getting tools ready, and then we're, we're pretty much ready to go. Um, I have uh, myself and five other staff members that are going to be doing all the running around with equipment. We'll have a front end loader there so you can pick up all the debris as we move along down the street. Uh, water bags, the line yards. So I, mean, I think there's a, there's a caveat for that discussion right now. Yeah, so it's a little too far with that. Uh, that's, I don't really have anything else. Just, just been uh, kind of crazy busy. No, no updates on Tree Keeper 8, so I don't know when that's actually. Our, our system's being built right now, so I don't know when the rollout date for that is. Anybody have any questions? Oh, sorry, go ahead, Marilyn. Oh, uh, on the agenda, final count on tree USA ceremony. Oh, yes, that's us to bring that up. I need to know how many commissioners are going to be wanting to go to that. What was that again? It's the, it's the our Tree City USA award. Oh. I think it was on a date I could do. When is it? It's uh, June 7th. June 7th. Right. Oh, Arlington. Arlington. Mm -hmm. so we think you're going around with your frame. Pretty much this one. So, as far as count, it's just. Riding your bikes there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Negative. <laughs> Negative. Put them on the back of a Yumba. Negative. Yeah, they can, we can bring that bike. Put them on the back of the truck. And they can ride them around at lunch break. No, we're not. <laughs> so, you know, Rich, did your budget change at all from what you kind of reported to us early on on the final printed budget? But no. So, services are. The only, the only difference is that the monies for the trees went into the, uh, the capital line, there, so the monies can be rolled over now. So the monies that we don't expend, we don't need to put pressure to expand it. We always put some fund this over there on top of the new allocation, which is about $40,000 for the tree, uh, off the tree, off the tree planting and supplies. You can't roll over the FY17, but the FY18 you'll be able to roll over. The FY17, some of it's going to get rolled over because we just signed the contract. Okay. So that so basically we're going to start out July 1 with a pile of $40,000 for that contract that I just signed with Amherst. We, we won't use any of the money from next fiscal year. So that
that money, that money that we have in that contract will afford us plant stock for the fall and to finish up South Street and to do all the setback plans and then we commit to it. And then when we done in the next late next fall, uh, we will start to look forward for another, you know, decide on a plan for project and then tailor a, uh, a uh, bid for that material based on the next project and then set back to the So we're kind of trying to put everything kind of in, in line instead of working kind of backwards. Not backwards, it's just I think it's a it's an easier, it's a smarter way to afford minutes for budgetary purposes. It's much easier. Okay. And it doesn't go into the general funds, but in, in your in treaty for budget, it doesn't yeah. get thrown. No, I mean there's it. there's a uh, it, it goes into a capital line item that's in the DPW Highway General Highway Division budget. It is it is it's not bonded money, so it is general ledger money, but it does not return back to their the state there. And you're in charge of that. So. Yes. Okay. It's advantage of being always. Yeah, that's what I was. That, that of, was kind of where I was. There's a lot of advantages. I, right. I hold people's hostage with their driveway permits and everything else. <laughs> and it's, it actually works out pretty well. It just happens to be like a coincidence that it works out this well because I have the enforcement power as the tree warden by MGL Chapter 87, and then I have the enforcement power given to me by my other duties and I was in all kinds of different regulations in regards to trench permits, which regulate what people can dig, and driveway permits regulate what people can have to place driveways in relation to okay. private and public changes. So it actually is a pretty good fit. Yeah. It's so, you know, they, they yeah. Probably going to your head. It's not. My head's shrinking. I'm not going to <laughs> So that, uh, that's it. We'll talk about South Street. I did bring the plan though, too, so I can spread this out. There was, uh, Tree Northampton was a uh, very awesome job helping to get this thing put together. So. Alicia did the bit to meet with my elf. It's, it's just a plan that shows where the tree is. Nice. Yeah, we'll grab that and uh, when we look at South Street after our guidelines. Anything else for Rich? Okay. Let's move on to the tree planting guideline finalization. Oh, that's me? Yeah, maybe. Oh, so um, it, uh, it was the end of my semester, and uh, Alicia's time frames were like when I taught class. So today was my first day that I didn't have to be at my real job, my other job. So I'm going to get in contact with her. And it, should, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. We just could not find it. A single chunk of time that yeah. we could both and, be at. And then, Rich, yeah. were you able to pull together the information that you were going to? All right, yeah, so I, had, it's, I have it in bits and pieces. I just have to. I'm trying to get engineering to actually, I'm trying to get engineering to together. They have a lot of bits and pieces for tree protection, these different projects that they've done. And now that we, now that I've, uh, because of the process that we're going through, and the fact that there is a tree ward and they're making this prevalent and the significant tree ordinance. Um, I'm trying to have engineering actually develop a set of documents that is a standard mm -hmm. document that will sit and, you know, when they go off for uh, an RFP for a construction project, like, for example, Lincoln Street, these documents will go along with them. So I'm trying to take those pieces and get them into uh, Format. formatted, because they're kind of cut up right now. So, but I'm just kind of, it's been snowballing. Everything's been kind of, it's just been super busy. So I'm just going to ask Terry to play it. He's got five days to do another task. Mm -hmm. It's kind of sad, actually. But I'm getting there. So if somebody has a need for the list, I have it in a, I have the list that, you know, I could actually give it to Lily and people could look at it, just the list itself. It's not in a form that looks great, you know. But I redid it by size. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think we did, that. right? And uh, so, anyway. Well, that's um, then maybe the next. Well, I mean, I'll get it done as like fast as I can get it. I yeah. think I know. It's, I know there was talk about voting on it, mm -hmm. so that we could then, uh, you know, attach it to a memo and send it to yeah, the planning yeah. department and board for their consideration and possible adoption mm -hmm. for the subdivision rules and regs, and then it would eventually make its way to a an ordinance. Uh, 
amendment for certain uh, zoning codes. Oh, okay. Um, so why don't, why don't we just leave it with you give Lily as chair the heads up if you're going to be ready for the next yep. meeting yep. for a vote, great, yep. or if it needs to be pushed out a little bit. Yep. But, you know, yep. well, I'm sure we'll all be juggling our schedules for the next yep. couple months and summer months. Is the draft that you're working on, Jen, also including the other things that we've mentioned at previous meetings? Yeah, the, the pages of, that's the, I just don't have the computer skills mm -hmm. to like. Well, yeah, well, the good thing is zoning together. doesn't care how pretty it yeah. looks. Yeah. So I think, you know, we'll vote on the content. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. and then, you know, Rich's stuff is, you know, that's kind of a separate document that doesn't really need to be right. adopted. Yeah. But yeah. the list itself, you know, just right. pure black and white copy of the right. list, that's what needs to be adopted by the Planning Commission mm -hmm. for the subdivision rules and regs and then eventually turn into a, a, a zoning amendment. With the, with the supplement of the Vermont pages where it tells like the characteristics? I don't oh, we don't even need that? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, you could probably say, you know, on the ordinance, you know, we can, we can work with Wayne and whoever on this, but I think on the ordinance it could say, you know, you know, see supplemental material, you know, okay. as proposed. Oh, I didn't like really realize. Oh my gosh, I could have had this like weeks ago. Yeah, I thought it was really yeah, oh, well, I think okay. that's going to be necessary to for the for like the guide. So right. when you know when There's Rich wants to hand things, someone yeah you know, the full oh. document, that's going to be the thing that needs to look kind of pretty. Okay. But I think the list itself, sense. you know, uh, really yeah. needs to be you know a, a species list, yep. and then yep. if there are additional criteria, you know, have that written out in black and white. Yeah. Um, but you know. Doesn't need to be. I can just put it at the bottom. There will be additional sheets, including blah blah blah. I think so. I think so. Yeah, and then, you know, if they tell us to do more, we'll do more. But. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I could totally have that by next week. I'll send it to her. Certainly with the subdivision rules, I mean, that's less of a. Yeah, I redid the. Yeah, I redid the. And I also got a. Um, I went to a talk with Michael Durr, who's like this guy, the right. You know, he's the tree and shrub. Guru with plan, and uh, he had a list of uh, recommended films so far. So I just took a picture of it, and I'll find it on my phone. And put that in there, <laughs> unless you have further information about it. Yeah. It doesn't hurt to have it all integrated, but yeah, you know. yeah. No, I, I'll keep moving on both fronts. I just misunderstood. I thought it was supposed to be this package that we could give the developers. I didn't really realize there was this other thing happening. Well, I think before, I mean, we can give it to developers unofficially, mm -hmm. but right now it's just unofficial. Right. So the official part needs to be right. go through the regulatory Yeah. Process. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely, I'll get it through this week before the next week. Cool. Okay. Great. And I will also call contact with Michelle. See if we can, now that I have more daytime available, see if I have time to sit down. All right, now we can talk about the South Street planting. So we're all set. It's going to go off without a hitch. You got the plans? Yeah. I want to see them. So I think uh, we've got a long, we got to put them down there. We could lay the lamb on the ground over here, or we could just lay them across the table. Yeah, we can pull our stuff back. And, oh, that's table and table. Actually, you know what you could do? Maybe you guys could take your table and just push your table in towards theirs and you roll around oh. the middle. Here to here. Correct. Ah, oh, and then to there. Right. So, uh, yeah. so it goes wow. like that, like that. Yeah. Like, 
Right. It's just so, so star two, three, there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We need to do a mark. Yes. Yep. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, 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 so, so that each tree is on there, including uh, some of the setback trees. Yeah. Um, not all of them, because we don't have a written agreement and a species select. I guess the way that this happened was that we uh, actually a whole bunch of people, Susan, uh, Roy, Sue, uh, Felicia, all, and Britt, all walked up and down here more than once. And we, many, many, many of the tree, tree belts are really marginal. They're, they're, they, they can't even support grass. I mean, they're, they're full of salt, they're, they're, they're sandy, they, uh, yeah. and they're narrow. So, we tried to pick up ones that looked a little better and put the ones that came off ones in those circles. Um, and the ones that look really small and difficult to do, but the uh, tree levels, those are known to tolerate a little cramp circumstance right there. Yeah, and that's it's a very cramped circumstance. So are these all circles that were created by the um, survey as available tree planting so spots? What we did is we took the survey, yeah, and, and then we, um, we walked and looked at it. You know, there are some small changes, there's some changes and things that happened, and then, and then we uh, staked it, and then the pictures of the stakes. Because they don't locate them. They just say, oh, address. Right? So, it's yeah. vacancy. Vacancy. Yeah. Vacancy. So what are the different colors in the dashed versus non-dashed ones? So the, the, the dashed ones, I think, are... Um, Setbacks. Yeah, set back. That might overlap. Yeah, they overlap in some cases. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, a little bit. Do we have any trees or sites left over, or is everything now plotted in? Uh, there, there are two houses. One where I know that the guy isn't that well, and he will move to stay. And we're moving to stay. It got left off. Because the system rolled right over it, and I don't, I'm not prepared to, to, to deal with it right now. And there's one other place where there's no trees, and I just suspect the stake got taken out, but I don't know for a fact. Well, the one I know for a fact, he took them. The other one, I'm not sure about. Yeah, I saw one that like got chucked in the. Yeah, so there's three. Near my street. There are three stakes. But it got put out like two or three times, and it kept that, ended up in the shrubs. That's right. I would put right. them out. They disappear. Yeah, yeah. But you know what happens is the, in the process, you put the stake in, and then you go back and mark them, and then in, in between, mark them with paint. Yeah. And in between, that's when they disappear. Once they're painted, then we can find them again. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, so we're missing them. Yeah. I, I think mostly that, that when we complete this, it'll be pretty well filled up. I mean, down at the far end, on doing where doing Ford is, that moves way down. Right. You know, we've got a bunch of sweet gums that you know haven't come in. To the, they're, they're part of the 2017 order, and we have. Uh, and we haven't even ordered about eight of the trees that belong there. So there are some trees that haven't been ordered. Right. There's going to be some holes, but we knew that. Right? Yeah, yeah, we knew that there would be some holes because we did this whole thing out there without ordering any trees. Yeah, with the stock we already had. With the stock we had. Right. Which, which is what you wanted to do. We wanted to yeah, like, clear yeah. the deck. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, 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 it's, it's amazing. It's, I shouldn't say we did it just with the stuff. We did it with there was, they hadn't sent all the trees over, and so we adjusted the order based on what we wanted. So we got a, a couple handfuls of trees based on what we wanted. We mm -hmm. dropped off trees. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So we got more winter king hawthorn um, than, nice. than we thought we could get. That was partly because we knew we wanted them all along, but uh, Intel, the state, or PCR, Intel, which said they didn't, weren't going to take them, we couldn't get them uh -huh. since last year. Mm -hmm. So we've been asking for it for a long time. Mm -hmm. yes. How many trees altogether, Sue and Rob? There are 68 trees there. Wow. And there are at least a handful of setback trees that are still negotiated. Because we, we don't put them down until we have it signed and also um, a species. And so some people didn't have a species. We didn't have anything to offer them that they wanted. Mm -hmm. And so we. we are you going to go back once you sort of have an idea of what to go after them? Yeah. They, they, you know, they, they. So 68 you know, it's a sales thing because we really want them to 
to yeah. do some setbacks. Like down, way down on the other end, you can't see down there. The first set of houses, there's no tree belt that's plantable. And uh, uh, down, down here, like these two houses, yeah. it's the beginning. It's a horrible spot, you know. And, and there's no chance. It's too narrow. Right. But oh. but the guy owns two houses there. He's going to take two or three setback trees. So that'll right. alleviate that. Mm -hmm. What's the mileage distance? The mileage? Two miles? Good question. Is it like two miles? Don't no. Know the top uh, how long? I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah. That's probably, it's probably one, one mile and a quarter, maybe. Yeah. 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 That sounds right from walking it. So <laughs> I, 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 I want to say <laughs> that. So, that so when you're going along, you, you, you'll see spots that don't, a tree doesn't end up there because, you know, whatever. But what the effect when you go down the road once these trees take off? Mm. It will seem like a lot of trees because when you're going along, yeah, they, they stack up. I already noticed going down there. All the stakes. They will not. Yeah. Right. No trees. Some trees already planted. Uh, Is that left over from last year? On the other side. That's yeah. last year. The other side. Okay. Yeah. A lot of those live. You know. Oh. oh. On yeah, the right side. They did. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This amazing. is on the left side. Oh, so, okay. So, so yeah, this is on the wire side. Okay. This is only the wire side. Up on the other side. Yeah, but oh, you know. We're only doing one side. This is all yeah, one side of the road. Um, and that's because um, the way things work in terms of we planted all the setback trees, which are the big tall trees, and we didn't plant the underwire trees. So now we have underwire trees, and also um, there's a problem on the other side because there's going to be some reshuffling of trees that are already planted, maybe. And, and that has to be done before we can replant. So would there eventually be trees planted on the other side too? Right, but not as many because there are We planted already. some there last yeah. year, and, yeah. but we just, it was, uh, you know, our first go around and the, um, there's a couple columnar trees over there. Right? Was, was it the year before last? It looks like there's a Was it the year before last? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, wow. So, so, so they're, they're, the, the whole other side will be planted, but it won't be 68 trees. It'll be right. like... Well, there's a lot more trees on that side. Right, there's a lot more trees there already. And about how many species, Rob, of the 68? Uh, okay, the, of the 68, uh, the largest group are uh, crab apples. There are 24 crab apples, 12 winter king hawthorns, 10 tree lilac. And then there are a few places where there's a lack of wires, and those will be four blood gold and 22 uh, sunfall honey locusts, and two American orange. So, um, so only 24 of the 68 will be crab apples, and I didn't include the list that I just read to you. The setbacks, we're not doing them, uh, and we don't have. They're they're, they're more. I think we have virtually any, uh, but they're in the order that is 2017. So now go in the fall. Yeah. And how many? How many? How many of those so far? Twelve. Confirmed about ten or twelve setback trees, and we're thinking they'll be fifteen. I bet you'll get. My guess is you'll get more. Like when they see us out there planting, it's and they see, well, what about those stakes that yes. are farther back? What's oh. going on with that? You know, I I think you're going to have. And certainly, yeah. I mean, that's. The, the, so the, let me just. So the, the, it's kind of an important process that, because there is a process that's methodical. Uh, just on, starting on North Street, uh, a whole bunch of setback trees, really big setback trees. There's like three, three or four tulip trees, three or four elm trees, three or four maple trees going down North Street. And after those are done, then is when, if, if in, in my methodical, then you, that's when you go down after that tree belt. And so here it just happened in a sped up way. We went down soon. And I knocked on every door. We got as many setbacks as we could possibly get. And then we did the tree after that. Um, it, it affects less here, but it's here we're trying to create a barrier, not just a canopy. And so, in a lot of places, the tree doesn't plant a tree. It and, uh, so, so the tree doesn't plant a tree. So, it really kind of shapes the whole neighborhood up in terms of trees. We've done it here. Been to every single door at least once. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And, and, some, and some of them multiple times. Amazing. Wow. And, and even though some people are not liking it, 
the ones getting rid of the mistakes for the most part. Right. People up feeling. Oh, oh yeah, there's a, a great deal of enthusiasm. There are some cranky folks. There's, there's the one who didn't want the state in the first place, but was because he didn't want one shading the bush. So it wasn't it was the industry. Yes, topiary. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful topiary. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and then there's. And he doesn't understand everything in the best. And, and then there's somebody who's emailing us with a great display. Uh, if, do we plant trees at all? And, and so, not everyone is asleep, but we get an incredible amount. I mean, Positive far away is the negative. Okay. Especially, you know, people might be a little standoffish when you first start speaking to them, and then when you, you talk a little bit, and then they start reflecting and think that the groundwork laid already throughout the city with trees, they're seeing trees and gator bags, and they, yeah. they're starting to understand, and they get a little excited about, wow, this would really be nice if we had trees on this street. So, so the day before yesterday, someone came up to me that worked for the utility company, and said, what are you doing planting trees on the utility line? And I said, well, these were trees that are short, small, and the utility companies have approved this kind of planting. And they were like, oh, really? Because they think we're going to plant more sugar maples. Mm -hmm. So, so what, what's the uh, thought on um, press release or a photo op uh, to the notice to the paper? Well, Lily, Lily had sent an email that I think you were succeed on to the mayor's office in regards to had a press release all over. Yeah. Well, for this? Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know where it went, actually. While you're looking at it, I just want to say the last piece is that this is the most challenging environment we plant the trees in. So we all have to like be prepared for some of the dying off. Because of the narrowness and the quality of the soil? It, 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 because of you know, a state route, it's salted completely mm. differently than the rest of, of wow. the city. And South Street, for whatever reason, is famous for being sandy soil. So the sand, the moisture goes right through it. The salt, that's good for salt because the salt will go through. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right. So maybe we'll be better off than we maybe better. It won't get compacted, like chemically compacted. Mm -hmm. The salt can like change the chemistry in the soil yeah. and cause right. um, compaction. Mm -hmm. So this is on s Sunday or Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. What are the hours of it? Unfortunately. I think I can do it. Eight to three. Eight to three? I think we can get the early part. Are you fine? Yeah, she sent that uh, out. She requested the mayor's office, both last hour social media, um, the actual uh, planting. Yeah. Um, but there was no PR attached. No. No. It's kind of, it's kind of a problem. Well, I wouldn't say a problem, but it takes. There's a lot of changes happening. Not a lot, but there's been one large change in the mayor's office, so there's been a little bit of difficulty in getting everything done completely on town and then that's the best way to do it. I mean, it's just because they have new staff, they're not familiar mm -hmm. with um, things necessarily, so I, I think it's kind of probably late to draft a press release and get it pushed out there. Um, I think maybe putting something up on the city work page. And the social media is probably the best. It doesn't have to be. I mean, I, I would I would think more of a uh, photo op um, blast to the to the paper with some basics. I mean, it's, it's not a press release, but we could say you know, 68 trees are going to be planted by volunteers between eight and three. Transformation of you know South Street in line with the city's you know global warming. Whatever we're going to be, the, the mayor, I asked the mayor to be, I asked the mayor who's going to participate and say, we be there. So, we will be taking a whole bunch of photos on the bottom, I'm sure we can then to hopefully Washington, D.C. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, so, I mean, my point would yeah. be, at some point, I think we really have to capitalize on this kind of street transformation effort. Yeah. I mean, it involves, right. you know, climate readiness, it involves uh, traffic calming, it involves, uh, you know, the work that Wayne's doing on the Healthy Hampshire stuff and, you know, safe walking routes, etc. It involves our work. 
So it, it really gets to a lot of uh, the efforts of the city. Mm -hmm. So you know, I think we should maybe throw out a, a photo op thing to the paper um, with just some basic facts, and then uh, maybe we can work with Wayne's office to craft a more comprehensive um, you know, press release around this type of full screen transformation project. Yeah, I mean, I, I have to say, say we're seeking nominations for other streets. <laughs> we got to crank it. I think that I think in the last year or two, is that really? Uh, don't, 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 don't start on that. Yeah, I can't remember. I'll just leave it. I can say it on the because that doesn't report on stories like the used to. I mean, for example, every time we have a snowstorm, the Gazette was at the DPW taking photos, wanting to know what we're doing. I mean, I spend more time talking to uh, Western Mass News and uh, ABC World News this year than I did talk to them. Is that, is that oh. one time? Oh. Oh. And they were just looking for some photos. Oh. But very little communication. And I don't know if it's, it's whatever they feel is sellable for news, but I think this is pretty sellable. It seems like it would be really good. Yeah, I mean, I know it's not a couple in Amherst without any decoration in the house, but. Yeah, this is also important. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait, I, you're saying I should be talking about camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, yeah, I can, I can try to reach out to Dan Crowley, I guess, because yeah. I know Dan. I'll try to get a hold of him. It's close by. <laughs> yeah, they could walk there. Yeah. yeah, it is close by. We should have a big commute. Have we planted any trees as part of the uh, as part of the Con Street project, but we haven't done it as uh, a certain organization. A hotel street traffic. Because they took down the line. All right, so Rick, just you're going to. I'm going to get a hold of Dan. Talking with Dan or yep. send an email just around a photo op yep. opportunity yep. Uh, with you know a couple of the basic facts and then. Let's follow up, you know, after it's done and talk to Wayne and the mayor and see if we can do a more comprehensive release just on, you know, the intersection of how trees and urban planning and traffic calming and uh, global warming readiness, et cetera, can come together. Okay. Great. <clears throat> nice work, everybody. Fun out there. Yeah, wow. Thank you for Thanks. That's it. It's going to be a beautiful day, like 71 or something. Nice. Perfect. Not 90. If it sure. were 90, I don't know. No, that would be tough. All right, let's uh, move on. We're for all set. Probably right on time. Um, okay, so the FY, uh, well, really FY18, um, priorities. Um, so. If you look at your minutes, and this is uh, for Jay and Jennifer in particular, since you guys weren't here, but if you look at the minutes, uh, you see the priorities. I listed, I think, the top four up on the whiteboard, um, and there were some others, uh, and they're identified in the minutes, uh, the preemptive planning for pests, um, evaluation, which I think really comes under the, uh, the formalizing tree planting plan process. Part of that would be the evaluation. And then the others, um, uh, identifying ways that volunteers can support tree management, uh, increase promotion of setback tree planting, promote tree planting with video and or signage with information, uh, integrate planning process among Northampton departments, and begin planning Harbor Day week months earlier. Um, so, Jay and Jen, those four I think were our top vote getters, uh, what we did the um, the dot exercise again and kind of planned oh, our uh, priorities, but um, open to obviously your thoughts um, on it or if anyone changed their mind and we want to replay around with those priorities. Or you can just say, your complete agreement. Uh, I have a question. Increased shareholder letters downtown. Let's try to, we're first trying to get the civic organizations downtown. Yeah, the DNA and the foreign civic uh, organization um, and other stakeholders downtown to uh, 
have an awareness and then a buy-in and a participation and perhaps you know financial participation as well. Where are you at, Jay? Well, that just that last one. My only thing on that is that I think I said this before that we're wasting our time unless we do something about the soil. Wait, which last one you talked about? The, the downtown Florence. Oh, 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 okay. Florence, yeah. mm. Rich, did you ever get a cost quote for like how to do it right per tree? No, I actually could probably, probably not probably get that out of the pleasant tree documents. That would give us space for where we would cost out a contractor. Yeah, it was like a, you know, excavate the tree well, put in whatever, you know, the best case scenario soil and, you know, to give the trees, you know, somewhere above 50% survival. Okay. They've got a, um, they're doing a project on my campus where they are, there's a big wide sidewalk on one side of one of the buildings and they're making a, a, a drop off place there and they had to remove these three honey locusts and I convinced them they're repaving, you know, putting down sidewalk or whatever, they, you know, some type of walkway area. And I uh, convinced them to include in the bid uh, structural soil underneath the whole thing. So I can, when that's finalized, oh, I'm going there Friday so I could <coughs> check in to see if you know what the bids were for that. I mean, that's like a we could get it square footage wise. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it'd give you an idea. I might even be able to get a plan. It's what they, yeah. That yeah. would be helpful. The assumption is downtown, though, is that you have a tree that you'd actually take the, the, the sidewalk up at least one square more, right? I would think you'd want to make it at least that much bigger. Yeah. yeah. And then you put the cement back, so it's part of the cement. The more the better. Something like that. Yeah, the yeah. 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 The more the better. Right. I mean, what the ideal situation is that from the street to the front of the of the building the side, yeah. is all structural soil yeah. that is compacted, right. and right. then the and then the, you can compact it to the paving, and then the trees have access to 100% of the area underneath the sidewalk right. to to have roots grow and it won't push up the roots and you know you have to choose the species that not every tree will survive in that situation that's like the ideal situation and then uh minimum three yeah yeah with some that would be better like pleasant street they they use flexi they on all their tree wells plant things have to use structural soil on so What's that? Flexi pavement? Yeah. It's a flexible, uh, just what it is, flexible pavement. It actually it's is asphalt? But it's, not, it's not asphalt. I'm actually, I'm not sure what it's actually made out of. That's, that's, a, that's like rubbery? It's a rubber, but it's a kind of a trademark. Uh, it's a formula, I guess you could say. And uh, it's, uh, oh. it's, I've seen it used in a couple of communities, and it really works well. You can walk on top of it. You can ride your bike over it. It's Where in East Hampton is it? It would be interesting to go see it. No, it's not. It's oh. in Connecticut. Oh. Um, and uh, so they actually oh. just are going to be doing the Pleasant Street work. So Pleasant Street would be an interesting when that's done to actually go down there oh. and actually watch them install oh. the structural soil. Oh, yeah, that would be that would be really interesting to see. Yeah. If we can find out when they're going to do that, I'd love to know to right see up. what you're talking about with the structural soil and the yeah. whatever other Let's stuff. Kind of find out. Oh. Uh, I saw that at a trade show. On the thing of it. You put it right up over the roots That's of the tree. And yeah. Almost. You walk on it without the Protect the roots yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. water goes right is through. Is it permeable? It is permeable. Wow. Yeah. Like really, he had, like he had like a, this flow of water. <laughs> <laughs> it was just. You know, we love flexi pave. Pour, pour, pour right through. <laughs> it was amazing. You can. Depends on what you put underneath it. Like you say you could you know, drive on it. Without well, you have to have it, it, it has to be prepared, you know, the sub prep is different, uh -huh. like driving a fire truck on it than it would be. Like, 
and how how often you're going to ride on it. Yeah. Just like you're laying papers, you're laying papers for driveways, doing the sidewalk. Yeah. Okay. Any other thoughts? I was anyone? just wondering, um, after I sent everybody an email with this list, I created, Rich suggested a um, Google Doc, and I forgot to look at it before coming to the meeting. I don't know if anybody had added anything. I, I created this right. in the form of yeah, a I don't Google Doc. No. Well, that kind of gets into the next agenda item a little bit, so we can keep the conversation going. But I thought it would be helpful to take that Google Doc and talk, take you know the broad goals and have us put some thought into more specific uh, outcomes or tasks that uh, could be associated with the goals, um, just to maybe allow ourselves to keep on track throughout the next year. And I don't know if you guys want to do that here or if you want to do that in the safety of your own room and the Google Doc and then <laughs> talk about it at the next meeting um, or if you think that's a waste of time. But. Let's do it here. Yeah, we have time. We should all kind of look at it separately before we come together. But you're saying within the Google Doc, maybe change the Google Doc to have you know the goals and you know the broad you know four goals that we agreed upon, and then have a time for or space for specific tasks or outcomes. And then kind of, you know, and Lily would probably want, uh, I know she mentioned this before, you know, the anticipated costs to make sure that we have either the, the people power or the financial power to achieve it. And then some sort of, you know, deadline just so we can kind of keep ourselves honest um, throughout uh, throughout the year. But should we be, I guess my question is, should we as we have us entering the Google Doc or just bringing them on paper? I mean, how should we? Well, if maybe, oh, maybe we can, you know, take 10 minutes and do a little bit of work here and get our brains going on it, and then Marilyn, if you would change the Google Doc sure. format okay. to include, you know, tasks, um, okay. uh, deliverables, timeline, and um, uh, cost. No, nah, not the who yet. Yeah, that's scary. Not the, yeah. not the, <laughs> not the who yet. Who's going to do it? Do you mind once you do that? Could you resend it? Okay. That would be helpful for me. All right. That's somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take the next 10 minutes and just, I mean, we already know some of them, right? We've done, we're working on this pretty hard. So the, you know, the deliverables are obviously a, a tree list. Okay. You know, that turns into law. Or, or while we, you know, if we get to um, closer to the, you know, rec we don't have to follow the recommended guideline of the 30 2010 thing, but, you know, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's, as, as our planting take place. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, it's the same. yeah, if all your crabs right. die, you know, that was a yeah. bad idea. Right. Yeah. Or just, you know, if we get a start, we plant a lot of oaks and then we're. Up well, to the yeah. you know, kind of yeah, the squirrel population. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. All the one wild the mice running around. Mice. Mice. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, great. Gypsy moths. What other specific any tat any uh, outcomes, deliverables, tasks? This won't be a final list, but just to get us thinking that. Let's get, a, let's get like two per per goal. Yeah. Um, well, the tree planting plan, um, 
Huh? <laughs> uh, no, are there, there are at least two segments to that. It's a setback between the trees. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if that's a way we should be thinking about it. So, uh, They might be two two whole separate processes. Yeah. Right? One for the setbacks, exactly. one for the. No, yeah, it's an interesting. With, yeah. um, so geography, um, um, density, uh, yeah, density. Um, opportunity. We talked about like gateway slash. Right. Um, like routes. Well, yeah, like in terms of figuring out geography, like one area, one way to think of it is in terms of neighborhoods. Like, so it sort of comes out even with different, you know, you could do it in terms of equity among neighborhoods, or you could, and, or you could do it in terms of gateway, you know, roads that get the most um, travel or the most vision, or you could do it in terms of roads that have the least trees on them now, um, that need the most trees. Yeah, I mean, this, this, this one's a lot of work. Yeah, it'll be fun. At some point we talked about also um, economic, like, uh, uh, Background, like, uh, I don't know how you want to word that. Justice. Social justice areas? Yeah. yeah, is that their goal? So, areas like with where lower income low people are. Lower income people. Make sure to put plenty of trees yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't Especially know what people, people are walking and they don't have cars. Right. There, I, there's some name for that. Oh. Social justice communities? Is maybe, that what you mean? maybe that's it. Is that um, what that's what those kind of communities are called that are, or, well, actually, climate justice communities. I've heard that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh climate change, that are most impacted by yeah, climate change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are the um, housing authority lands, are those lands that we are under our domain or no? That comes under the next heading, no. extended tree no. warden authority, possible. I mean, one of the right. possible headings. Right. Housing authority. Well, that could be another shareholder. Parking. Parking. That could be another thing under shareholder. Another shareholder could be the North Carolina Housing Authority. Would you like some more work? <laughs> What is, what is the, um, like, I, I, what's the barrier to the authority? I, like, I don't... The law. The law, the, the MGL Chapter 87. Which authorizes the city of town to create their own public shade tree protection ordinance, which would expand your already robust powers. And points. You don't have one. Zardardum. So that should be the item number, then. Um, right? To make a uh, it would be a local uh, municipal tree ordinance. Local municipal tree ordinance. Yeah. Just can't supersede that yellow chapter. Right. 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 Because the other one was for private property. The, um, the where it says shareholder. Don't we actually need a stakeholder at the bottom? I think shareholders are wrong word. The boss, yeah, stakeholders are yeah, other groups that are that have a stake in that issue. Not share, shareholders is what it said in the minutes. State stakeholders, I think, is what we're talking about. And I would say a stakeholder, I don't know, potentially could be the housing authority. Downtown. Well, it's another. No, not necessarily. Well, I'm thinking it, there's a downtown association. There's a Florence association. I'm thinking there's also stakeholders like the housing authority is another area that is in Northampton that could have trees. So I don't know if that's anything that we can have anything to do with or not, or we just have to ignore that. Well, we have a map of that. I mean, I could be. I don't know if that gets to that goal, but I'll put it out here. Um, what about parking? Oh yeah, trees there. Because we don't have parking lots. Right. That's their own. No, thing. I cut them down for them. Right. That's their own thing. Well, that's, yeah. So I mean, you guys are talking about maybe that's what I was trying to capture oh, here, yeah, okay. like giving you know the tree warden some additional authority around areas that are not currently under his. Well, even if not authority, there might be ways that we could work with them. Like, 
I don't know if they ever do actually plant trees there, but maybe there's some way we could talk with them about the benefits of trees and, you know, encourage more trees to go in, or I don't know if that's even possible. Or well, it would, it, would be, uh, it would be nice because we've only really removed trees. Yeah, trees, and those. Except for the one They're pretty um, Are you talking parking open. lots or housing authorities? Well, part, uh, both. Um, because if you look at this parking lot right over here out the window, we're going to have to cut all those, yeah. all those trees down there gone and there's no replacement plan so I mean I think it's kind of it's really it's uh, it, right now it's just like a network of inner inner city inner departmental communication amongst myself and other right people. when they need things because the DPW has a lot of equipment and manpower to get things done they come and see me right and I'm able to get things done however I can't say to them now you have to plant 10 trees you know I, that's not I, no. I can assist them and get the removals done, but other than that, I not can't. have to. But I'm just wondering, is there like if if we talk? I just keep picking the housing authority because I'm thinking of those apartments. They're probably really hot. There's no shade, and you know some nice trees there would just make it so much more pleasant. And if there was some way that trees that we plant from our budget could go to those places, it would be it's in Northampton, and people who live in Northampton um, do. Does our budget have to go to Street trees per se. It goes to street trees and trees that are considered set by way. Oh, okay. So trees that so, are in the public right of way and the trees yeah. that are set by. So it's just not in our domain to even. That's no, it's not. Be able to offer anything. No. Yeah. Right. No, okay. the other the other problem is that <laughs> oh, if your department like that, for example, that's that's their uh, that, federal employees. So oh. it's a sub, 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 federal subsidies oh. pay for all of that. Oh. So the city really has no, so once we plant the trees there, we can't we maintain them or anything. Maintain them. We don't have, so it'll be up to them to maintain them. Yeah. So that's good. You have to get people who live there to buy them. You either that or you have to have some kind of working agreement. Um, but then, of course, right. if you, you know, if you expand, if you expand the powers of the tree board, you also not only basically give more work to the tree board in a sense, but you also can create more work for the department of both boards. Right. Because if we are now going yeah. to be responsible for the parking commission's trees, we're right. not only going to remove them, we're responsible for planting them. Right. Yeah. So stump grinding, yeah. doing everything. Mm -hmm. So it, it, the resources, it's not just my resources and my time, it's the resources of the whole department in general, which is uh, manpower uh, and operating expenses. You know? So, you know, what for the answer? Well, I mean, I think you, you know, there is one caveat in the MGL Chapter 87 that allows the tree board to be responsible for the city park trees. And the commission actually, um, the our recreation commission of this, so Parks and Recreation Commission, well, I use a letter saying that they want the tree board to be responsible for the trees and I can take care of it. There's no other caveat in that law that allows any other uh, departments or any other entities of the municipality to, to use MGL Chapter 87 for the vehicle. Mm -hmm. I think that's there just because there's so much public parkland in uh, Massachusetts and they, they wanted a way to protect the trees. So, you know, I mean, I think it's a good thing. I think it's just there's a lot, there will be a lot to it in trying to really define what exactly. Yeah. Because let's, it's going to require, to do that's going to require the mayor to buy into it, and the city council is going to have to, you know, the ordinance will have to go through its whole process, and they'll have to buy into it. So now they, thus, the city will now be responsible for those areas that were not responsible for before. So it's really a, yeah. I guess, a philosophical and right. political decision. But I think he should present it and see what happens. Could we, could uh, those, like, housing authority properties be potential for Arbor Day plantings? Do you know what I mean, or that has to be? Uh, no, I, I, don't see why, I don't see why they couldn't. I, mean, I think we've decided to keep planting on public property. Yes. Yeah. For the most part, because the, you know, the, the, the tree board and the right. city can control right. what happens right. to a certain degree. Right. You know, if somebody, if we plant a tree over at the Salva House, and one of the people that runs the lawnmower over there runs mm -hmm. over the tree mm -hmm. and cuts it over, cuts it down, mm -hmm. you know. So it takes a lot of coordination. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, I, I can't go, there's no enforcement action. And right. I can't do anything. That, well, can we have another tree? Well, can you run this one over this time or what? You know, yeah. I mean, so right. it's, right. I think right. there, 
Definitely I think where you mind. have the control is you know where you have to presently focus on our, yeah, our planting. Yeah. That's okay. good. Our, our, our planting plan. That's a good advice. And then as things unfold, as you take up uh, goal number two, uh, or party number two, then maybe that'll change. Okay. Well, we couldn't invite the uh, ED of the Housing Authority to meet with us. Good. Yeah, that would be interesting, just to at least bring up the idea about trees and put it on the radar screen and see if there's any interest in that or on their part. Yeah. Yeah. Well, federal you, program. You, you no. theory of buying. But they're, it's not it's federal. Federal. It's our, it's a public, it's a Northampton public, right. public property. So, right. I mean, they have federal money, but right. it's in Northampton. And but there may be a federal tree planting, you know, I don't know. They get, they get money from the federal government for, you know, for fixing up the buildings or whatever, right. so they can certainly get it for, you know, landscape and engineering. Possibly, but I'll do some help uh, on volunteer. Right, maybe Maintenance. Tree Northampton could be involved in that since it's not a In terms of, like, if they city. want to buy some trees and take care of that, I don't know, there's, yeah. there's a possibility right. of partnering in some way. That's what I was just talking about, like just exploring the possibility to see if there's any, any way to see if there's any interest. Or just to help them with tree selection and where to get there. I don't know how they would do right. it if they do it. Yeah. We obviously have some experience with gaming. So, it was, you know, good start. Hopefully we captured some of that in Maryland. Maybe, you know, I don't, the format I'll leave up to up to you, but yeah, I've been updating the uh, Google Drive as we go here. Okay, so. maybe send around a reminder okay. email to us that it exists and uh, take a look at it before the next meeting, and we'll keep working on that. And should we add stuff to the Google Doc if we sure yeah. want, if we see it? Yeah. Okay. Maybe stick to the stick to these four priorities, but okay. Uh, anything else on that? Get an update from Tree Northampton. Okay, um, I'll just follow up. A resident um, from Fruit Street did come to me um, and wanted to know how we can help with the public housing on Fruit Street because a lot of trees have come down. And so um, I haven't heard back from them, but the volunteer queen will be helping out on May 20th, helping on our day. And um, the idea that the um, residents there could take a proactive role in wanting to have trees and offering to care for them would maybe be something where the volunteer group in you know, Hampton could mm -hmm. could help in some way and connect connect those residents to the commission for advice, especially on species selection. Mm -hmm. But um, so we um, we went over a lot of the May twentieth. We have um, some. 30 plus volunteers schedule plus some DW staff. Should be a really wonderful day. Um, thanks to Lily, she she sent she has a part of the listserv uh, messaging for South Street and she sent out two messages. The first one was rather quiet and then she sent another one the other day and uh, more people. So the schedule's really filling up, I think. We've got the people we need. And we'll have um, some refreshments and um, a place for people to go to the restroom. Um, Ravel and Jen offering up her place too. You're at um, what's your group? Group 16. So we'll have some volunteers to help facilitate that for people that they need that. Um, very excited. And um, I don't think there's much more to say about that. I will say that um, before the South Street plan, there was work that had been carried over from the fall and was continuing through the winter, considerable work, um, meeting with setback tree people who were interested in the people who requested setback trees, mostly Rob and Alicia. Spent many, many hours um, setting up meetings, meeting with residents, and stakes have gone in, and I don't have the count um, for those, but um, dozens of stakes, one could say. Yeah, so it's a citywide, just a rent. Yeah, whoever yeah, requested it. We're, we're just requesting, and some of these requests get blended in with what people who are requesting them. Yeah. We get a request, and then it ends up on the same way. Okay. So, 
It looks like the fall. The spring was difficult. It was like suddenly you know, this project goes back. The timing was a big part of the like, uh, fall in that process. But for the fall, it wasn't for the fall. So that work had been going on and kind of went on the back burner while this all got planned. Um, but through the planning of this, a whole other set of property owners are being connected to the Step Back Program on South Street. And there's really a model developing that um, what's really gone on in Amherst in the past where certain neighborhoods that have been, um, people who have asked for trees, have had visits from, also from Rob, but also from um, Alicia's really doing a lot more of that too. And learning about the program, talking to neighbors, and becoming interested in actually planting and caring for the trees. The model being that the neighborhood taking ownership and the streets um, being engaged in the whole process of the trees and knowing, being part of it and contributing to it, having a stake in it. And um, that's really the ideal way, in my opinion, versus a municipality plotting out places and putting the trees in. That involvement um, potentially saves a lot of money and taking care of the trees and also allows for healthier canopy with more of the setback trees in places where the city wasn't planned to have a good tree belt. <coughs> that's really great work and there are there were sites that we selected last fall and through the winter sites that are coming up now, people can still continue to ask for trees, tree belt and setback. So that's very exciting. And again, I don't have a perfect number on that. Okay, it's been done, Rob. It's done a lot of the work. There are three different streets that Lincoln has Warfield Street and uh, Hooker. I don't know what it was, Hooker or whatever. Hooker have have tiny place. But the, the thing about all three of them is they organizing themselves, but also Carousel Road. The, the neighborhood is, or in, in, when those trees go in, I anticipate that although volunteers from the community might come along, I might be there, or somebody else, the people in those neighborhoods are going to plant nice. the majority of those trees. And I think that is just a it just takes a lot of the pressure off because so the whole thing with water and logistics and, and, mm -hmm. and manpower and and also the whole I think on some of these projects the issue of who will then water them will be resolved because they've been requested. It's quite different than on South Street. You can't like expect people to come out and hose on the South Street to all those eight and six and seven. But, uh, so there are uh, eight, eight trees going on on a little tiny war field. And I expect that those people will have those trees. So those tree belt trees or setback trees? There's one setback and the rest are tree belt. They, they live very close to the, there's not much space. And, uh, they're, that's all their space. They don't really have a tree belt. So. Um, we've continued to be talking about the watering plan and how we go about that and um, getting to a point after this project done further into the summer taking time to try to look at maps of where there are trees in the city that need water and what is kind of off the route of a normal mm -hmm. W watering run and how we can make start to adopt outliers outlying spaces mm -hmm. to take on small groups with volunteers and one volunteer Jonathan who is very very interested in in that using his truck and figuring out a way to get out there and water the trees, especially in anticipation of the have a drought like we had in the past, how to have some extra horses to be able to. He has a tank on his truck. <laughs> he has, yeah, he has set up, he's looked at them, um, he's been looking at what's on the market, and he did quite a bit of work on using existing kind of with a rain barrel sure. large yeah. barrel oh. from what he had uh -huh. just on hand yeah. to see if yeah. he could do it. He does have a generator and a, and a pump. It, and he has tried it out and timed it and measured how much water. So I, I have been a little discouraged about watering because people don't water them pretty much that. 
but I have thought that someone like Jonathan would be willing to, instead of actually lugging the water, if we can just have someone working with the people who own the homes so that we are checking up to see if they are watering the trees and then do something about it if they're not. So in a way, it's, it's not just delivering the water, it's, mm -hmm. it's checking out all the trees. I mean, when they're on the tree, the water run, we know. If they're not, we don't know. And so, uh, I, I think, and I think John's going to that. So he might be able to just go from the tree and make sure that people are doing their, their work. Can you sell ice cream at the same time? Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We have a total progression, so I have an ice cream progression. Is anyone here aware that the ice cream truck in my neighborhood over the past five years has played the International when it goes by? No. <laughs> That's like we made up for The one in my neighborhood has a different tune every year. Okay. First it was La Cucaracha. <laughs> Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right, that's a different one. It's probably the same guy, but for a while, rocks at the truck it, was the, it was the international. <laughs> I, I was very, I thought I was really in Northampton, that's all. It was great. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks, Rob. All right, that was a Follow Following a digression. Oh, Rob, we went down that rat hole there. Ice cream. Oh, that's You should invite them to the planting on Saturday. Oh, okay. Rich, or oh, Adam. Yeah. Adam's son. Adam already. Invite the truck to go to the plant on Saturday. You get lots of business. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's. <laughs> what else, Green Northampton? That's, you know, we're, this has really taken on a lift bazaar, which is exciting. And again, I just wanted everyone to know that all that work has continued, a little bit of a drop off, but um, that I think in the last week or so, Rob has been out and put up a lot of space. So we'll be continuing to do these quieter, smaller plantings that um, are really good for developing volunteers that really want to do it again. They're really fun and they're quiet. Mm -hmm. That's all. Amazing oh, so, amount of work. So do you have a photographer for us, we have cell phones. Yeah. John, John said he was going to take some photos, but I don't know if. Uh, John has been well. Okay. Yeah, he will take photos. Um, anyone who'd like to help with that would be great. I think taking the photos is the easy part. The hard part is making sure we have a photo release and then yeah. getting the photos in a file where people can find them and then getting them out through email or putting them out for, so people can see them. So where where are there holes in your schedule? Where might you still need folks? Well, I thought it was a little light on the end of the day, but um, but I think I mean it's hard it's hard to tell with volunteers because sometimes they remember oh it's mom's birthday or whatever they maybe you know got enthusiastic and signed up. So we'll see. I mean we're gonna it looks like we're gonna have nice weather. That's really good. Um, Maybe 10.30 would be a good time. We have a couple of volunteers who have another commitment at 10.30, so they're coming at 8, but they're leaving at 10.30, so there's a little hole in there between 10.30 and 11, where when other volunteers have signed up. So that's a good time if people wanted to come jump in. Um, is there anything going to be around you'd like to? I can do like 8 to 10. Eight to ten, fantastic. So I can put you down for that. Yep. And I'll add you. It's just like a filmmaker. She's taking all the little pieces, <laughs> <laughs> making yeah, something yeah. out of it. People have all sorts of things going on in their life. But we have a nice list. I have. Um, if anybody wants to see the list, I have copies. We have a lot of people who've come in the past. We have new people from around town. How many volunteers told? I think you said 40 or 30. Yeah, 35 um, probably will end up with, but then we have five staff. Put that in your conversation with the editor. Put you 35 um, volunteers. A volunteers. That's a lot of volunteers. It is a lot of volunteers. That's a lot of volunteers. <laughs> it's a lot. Some of, work. Them, some of them are root are root ball, are um, B and B. I think you know we don't want to kill you know make people like work too hard, but I'm hoping that a tree per person is a minimum. 
normally, you know, because we'll leave, yeah. Well, they're close together. They're close together, yeah, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to flow. Yeah. It'll be good. It'll be good. Market It'll be Street great. was the trial run of how to have, we had two, two yeah. teams of volunteers. We didn't really have a lot of volunteers. No. Right. Okay. And they were all B and B, so there was they were big yeah. So you couldn't just move ahead without you needed. And that was two support. trees being planted at the same time, but now we're gonna have four or five trees being planted at the same time. Yeah. Well, so you'll have um, you know, group people digging with um, probably you know, a, one person leading each little group of people and making sure that they follow each step and that they're measuring carefully that the trees planted at a proper depth. And, um, and then, so that's, I think right. that's it for us. I have a question for Rich after the logistics. But... Thanks. Thanks. Any other business not on the agenda? Marilyn, take us home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 79 West Street. <laughs> okay, Rich, sorry, you've got the most things to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know how we can go. We're all staff. Poor Rich. Poor Rich. Let me know if you want me to delete any of these. All right. I'll delete. Select all. Select all button there. What's the tree work? Put the planting on Saturday. I have you moving trees. Yeah. Bonding trees. Yeah. 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 Uh, providing a cost quote for downtown or, or downtown Florence planting, and then getting info on structural soil and flexi pavement on the peasant street. Uh, J. Jen, I have you finalizing the tree planting guideline. Uh, I'm going to add the goals, liberal goals, tasks, resources needed to the um, Google Doc, and then Rob. In Tree Northampton, uh, coordinating with Hanson on Saturday. Did I miss anything? You're going to get a cost of what it takes to do a tree well properly? Oh. Uh, structured soil tree well. Yeah, that was in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, soil, uh, sorry, a tree well. Okay, good. That's all I know. And, Rich, where are you going to find out the date, if you best you can, about when they're going to do the work at the rotary? Yeah, Pleasant Street. Yeah. Mountain Road, Pleasant Street. So. Oh, 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 oh. And I'll ask Lily to uh, invite the ED of the Housing Authority. Oh, okay. Okay. That's it. Anything else? Motion. Motion. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Uh, so adjourned.